Hello, I am Dr. Snehavardhan Pandey. I am a pediatric hepatologist attached to KEM Hospital in Pune. And today we are going to talk about Wilson's disease, especially in children, and how does it affect the liver particularly. So Wilson's disease is actually a genetic disorder wherein the body, especially the liver, is incapable of handling copper in your diet in any form. So what happens is all the extra copper gets deposited in different organs like liver, eyes, brain and the kidneys major, majorly. So what happens is as an individual grows in age, especially in children, they have usually liver involvement. And how does the liver get involved? The liver can get involved in a varied spectrum. So a person can have absolutely normal blood test with respect to the liver, however can have Wilson's disease. In some children this disease presents as a very rapidly progressive liver disease initially thought to be viral but when investigated in detail is found to be Wilson's. In some patients this presents like a long standing liver disease progressively worsening and eventually leading to end stage liver disease. In older children, many a times, this disease presents with neurological manifestations infecting the brain. So how do you diagnose Wilson's disease? So there are a series of specific, there are a series of specific tests called as serum ceruloplasmin. You do the measurement of copper in your urine collected over 24 hours and you check for copper deposits in the eye called as a KF ring by an ophthalmologist. More additional tests include the MRI of the brain and specific genetic test to diagnose Wilson's disease. Based on these tests, you can reasonably confirm the diagnosis and thereafter start treatment for Wilson's disease. Moreover, if you are clearly certain about the genetic test, that test can be useful to you for predicting Wilson's disease even in your future pregnancies. What are the treatment options for Wilson's disease? So first is the diet. A person suffering with Wilson's disease has to follow a strictly low copper diet. Secondly, the medications. So the medicines that we use in Wilson's disease are called as chelators. Commonly used medicines are D-penicillamine, trientine and zinc. These medicines chelate the copper, that is all the deposited copper it absorbs and helps to excrete it out of the human body through either the stools or the urine. Lastly, if the patient does not respond to medical management for whatever reason, either delayed diagnosis and treatment, improper treatment or because of advanced disease, the last treatment option is liver transplant. Mind it. Once a patient has undergone a liver transplant, Wilson's disease, the liver part is completely cured. However, the neurological manifestations may or may not completely cure after a liver transplant. Hence, it is very important to diagnose this disease timely and to choose the right treatment option. In KM Hospital, since the last 30 years, we have catered to more than 500 Wilson's disease patients of different age groups. The hospital serves as a single center for managing Wilson's disease and its complications with respect to different sub and super specialities under one roof. Moreover, KM Hospital is now a center of excellence internationally for Wilson's disease. I would ask you that if you have a relative or a patient who is suffering with Wilson's disease and needs special care, please contact us. Thank you.